everyone, this is Foxel here. I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I would show you my face, but unfortunately it's just <laughs> me in charge of the camera at the moment. So, I hope you all got some nice presents this year from Santa or Father Christmas, whichever way you'd like to call it. And I'd also like to thank everyone who commented and all the likes I got, although it didn't tell me how many likes I got, on my Backman Wainwright C-Class for the new series that's soon to be Mark on Track. And I can assure you now, with all those views, going up to almost 400, or over 400 as I've just been told, that the next Mark on Track will commence soon. 2013 is going to see a lot of changes. Perhaps more videos, perhaps even bigger days out. As you know, there's the big A4 gathering in July, which I hope to be there, with all six, if I've got that right, six, six A4s, that's Mallard, Sir Nigel Gresley, Union of South Africa, Dominion of Canada, Dwight the Eisenhower, and Bitten. Right, yes, that's all six. Shall be gathering in York, and I shall be there. When dates are confirmed, I'll let you know when I'm going. And who knows, you could pop in and say hello to me when I'm there. And also, Steam on the Met is back since I live in London. Hooray, 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 Steam on the Met. Ah, unfortunately, I didn't get tickets to go on the current one that's happening in January which is doing the sort of circle line route. But I do hope that when the tickets go on sale for the May version of Steam on the Met, when Met number one, fingers crossed, should be running again in May, and I believe it's doing the Rickman's Worth to Wembley run. Now I don't know the full details yet, but had to keep our ears to the ground. And there's also, for all the Southern region fans, Southern, Southern, as you know, um, East Grinstead will be open soon. They say the 28th of March is the official opening day Although, I wouldn't hold your breath because we don't know about the weather, as the weather put off a lot of work last year. So the 28th of March, I shall be there. And I hope to see you all there as well. Well, this year has been a very uh, tremendous one. I've had many changes. As you know, I've got back into trains. Before, I didn't really do much on trains. I did do it as a child, but that's for another video. The only video left to do is, well, my trip to Somerset. And unfortunately, due to personal reasons, that may take some time to do. You see, earlier on this year, I'm sad to say, back around May, June, my mother was diagnosed with liver cancer. And our last holiday in July was when we all went to Somerset. And she was going through chemo at the time. She still didn't look too well. And I did go on the railway, the whole 20 miles, back and forth, without mum, because she was too unwell. And plus, I must admit, it was really hot that day. I got some fantastic shots. And for the next few weeks at home, just we had to come back before the Olympics. I was still editing it. And one day, she had, she sadly had to go to a hospice. And um, on the 9th of August, we got a call that she'd um, her breathing had gone. And um, my dad went there, I had to stay home because of some stupid boiler problems. And then um, whilst waiting, not hearing anything, my dad eventually came back and said to me, I'm sorry son, but your mum's dead. She's gone. Passed away. And um, from there on, I, I'm sorry because but I, I just couldn't edit. I've still got the footage and um, it's trying to pluck it together to do it and um, and it's really hard when you're thinking about a good time and sadly something really bad happens which um, isn't nice <sighs> well and that's for me as much as I've enjoyed all my videos are filming heritage railways. It's just that um, knowing that I've um, had a very tremendous sad loss this year, and um, it's really hard for me and my father. It's hard for all of us, and. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to find back the tears here. <sighs> so, 
So yeah, 2012 has sadly had a really dark side for me. But I hope to carry on in 2013, as I know my mum wanted me to. She did like a lot of my videos, I remember that. So that's given me some sort of um, reinforcement to all those of you with mothers. Make sure you say you love them. Because it really bites home when you forget to say certain things and it's just too late. <sighs> right, well. I'll let the uh, Terrier carry on rolling. Oh, this is um, number 2662, that's Martello. He's enjoying himself. So 2012 is ending. No end of the world for some. And um, almost to 2013. I just want to thank all the people that have subscribed to me. Um, and I hope you all still have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to continue my railway in terms of modelling and heritage railways next year. Who knows what will happen next? So stay tuned for Mark on Track in January. I guarantee I'll be back and there'll be more videos. See you around. Ta-ra.